Lesson 8.2, we're going to make and use a ruler using one inch color tiles. In the last video, video 8.1, we saw how we can make our own one inch color tiles. We take a sheet of paper and we mark one inch along each side. We take a ruler and line it up with this side and this side and we draw the lines. We do the same thing for the top and the bottom. We make one inch marks and most papers are going to have a little bit left over because they're eight and a half by 11. So we're going to use one inch color tiles and these need to be cut out so they're separate. Using a ruler is similar to using color tiles to measure. We can find the number of inches being measured with the inch sections. Here's an inch section. Here's another inch section. We can find those on a ruler or with a row of color tiles. So this line, we see there's one space here, two spaces, three spaces, four spaces. It's four inches long. We can use color tiles to make the given length. Then we can trace along the edge to show the length. So if we've made our one inch color tiles, we can show five inches by putting five of them together. We make sure there's no gaps or overlaps. We put them side by side nice and neatly. And we can say from this point all the way across to this point is five inches. We can use one color tile to make a ruler on a strip of paper. What we do is we take our color tile and we draw a line right here, a straight line, and we put our color tile right up next to it, not on the very edge of the paper, but a little bit in because we want to make sure our line is straight. And then we draw a line on the other side of the color tile. We move the color tile over, draw a line, move it over, draw a line. We keep doing that and drawing the line on the other side of it until we get to the end. And now we've got our own ruler. And we can color each one inch section. If you color it a different color, it'll be easier to count. And to use our ruler, we line up the left edge of the object with the first mark. So we wouldn't line the object up with the edge of the paper. We would line it up with this first mark right here. Because there is a little space there. And we can see this is one, two, three, four sections, four parts. It must be about four inches. It's very important to line up the object with the first mark right here and not the edge of the paper. There's actually a difference. If you look very closely, that could make our measure up wrong because we'll be counting this little space here when we shouldn't be. Here it's telling us to measure the length with our ruler and count the inches. So we have a scissors and it starts here and it ends here. We can take the ruler we just made and line up the edge with that line. Right here, we line the lines up and where it ends, we line it up and we can see that it's one, two, three, four parts. That means it's about four inches. It's very important you know that we're not counting the lines we drew. We're counting the inside section. That's each part. We have a blue, and then an orange, that's two, and then a blue, that's three, and then an orange, that's four parts. That means it's four inches because each space, each part is one inch. Remember, we're not counting the lines. So now we can measure the next one. We line up this line right here with the very edge of what we're measuring. Let's move it up a little bit. We line it up really nice and then we count the spaces in between the lines. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. It must be about six inches. We can measure objects that are longer than our ruler by marking where our ruler ends. 
So we would measure this. We line this up nice and straight. We mark where our ruler ends. Then we move the ruler to the right and use it again and line up that mark with the end. We know that was six. And then we have seven, eight, nine, 10. So it's about 10 inches. We can measure this one. We line it up on the left side. We have six, we move it over and we line it up with our little mark here. That's another six, we mark it. And then when we line it up, we see we have a five. And six plus six plus five is 17. So it's about 17 inches. This says to measure the eraser with your ruler, does the sentence describe the eraser? Choose yes or no. So we're gonna line up our ruler with the edge here. We're gonna make it nice and lined up. And the sentence says the eraser is longer than four inches. We have one inch, two inch, three inch, well, if this space was filled, it would be four inches and it's not filled all the way. So it's not longer than four inches. That would be a no. This sentence says the eraser is shorter than four inches. We know that's one, two, three, four inches. So if it was up to here, it would be four inches and it's not quite. So it is shorter than four inches. That's a yes. And our ruler helped us. So you can try making your own color tile ruler with one inch color tiles. And remember how important it is to line up the object with the first mark and not the edge of the paper. Our next lesson, 8.3, we're gonna talk about how to estimate the length of an object in inches by comparing it to something else. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you stay strong and safe, and I hope you join me next time. Bye.